Welcome to Pagan Pathways with Jessica. This is our Witchy Wisdoms Wednesdays and it's on travel altars. We have a five pages participating now. Make sure you check them all out. I will have a link down in the description box so you can jump to each page. A travel altar pocket size. Make sure it's shut and show you all the sides wrapped in twine has Isis on the top and now let's look inside inside we have everything we need a feather black salt sea salt with some herbs a potion bottle cinnamon little candle holders a rosemary smudge stick. This is clear crystal quartz. It is in its raw form and it is a bead, but it is real crystal quartz. A little skull. Of course, a candle to represent each element. A bay leaves. And of course, a little stand for salt. Now let's put this together and see what it looks like. Welcome back to Pagan Pathways with Jessica, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Today, we're going to talk about travel altars, and at the beginning, I did show you a mini travel altar, this one right here, and just so you know that I'm going to do a giveaway on this. So if you'd like to be entered to win this particular travel altar, make sure you leave a comment down below and say, hey, I would like one. Also, um, if you could do me a favor and share, that'd be great. It's not necessary to be entered though at all. I'm just asking for that. Okay. So, um, this is an altar to Isis. This is, um, a, um, I can't even think guys. Anyway, I made this out of clay and put it on there. And this is a representation of Isis. And I do have you some cinnamon sticks in here to leave as an offering. So, yep, that's what this is. So make sure you comment if you want to be entered to win this travel altar. All right, now let's get to the big one. Now, as most of you know, if you've been on my channel for a while, you've seen my video of my travel altar in my truck. Now, since I've revamped that for this video, I'm thinking I'm going to take that down because I'm in love with this box. And you'll see why in just a minute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you the inside. All right, so we'll look at the side first. This has all the goodies we need to um, have in our on our altar space. But my favorite part is over here. Now, a few years ago, I bought this set of boxes at Hobby Lobby. I cannot remember how much it was, but I can tell you right now it was not that expensive. I have three different sizes. All are made just like this one that open and then clasp shut and then you can um let me clasp it before i pick it up make sure that's on oh this side's not okay so you just pick it up and carry like this it is pretty heavy but that's okay because it's not overly large i'm sorry i'm trying to see in the frame here <laughs> anyway so it did not come like this i made this um my daughter helped me all evening complaining the whole time. I'm <laughs> just going to laugh about it. Um, so these little jars come from the Dollar Tree, which everybody knows is my favorite store. To get this one out, you just slide it up. So, and that's uh, some black salt. I have uh, lots of herbs in here. Um, and yeah, 
herbal blends are my favorite. Anyway, so these dowel rods are also from the Dollar Tree. I cut them to fit very tightly and then glued it in and it holds wonderfully. So I'm very excited with how that came out. Now let's go over to this side and I will take everything out and then show you how I would set this up. Now we'll get everything out of here, including my tarot deck, which is getting dirty. Don't like that. <laughs> okay. There's my tarot deck. I'm going to take everything out and set it up for you. Here's my cauldron. I have some bay leaves. A chalice. Oops. Yeah. That's just some. Oh. Bear with me. This is uh, frankincense and dragon's blood. Some of my crystals that I like to use. Some cinnamon sticks. A feather my husband got for me. This is a pigeon feather. Um, candle holders. And another crystal. Okay, so this. Um, and then there's some incense, but I'm not going to get those out. I mean, I guess I could, but there's not really a reason to. They're uh, just regular incense sticks. And, I mean, you could actually put more in here if you wanted. Now, I'm going to close this up and turn the box this way. I know it's a little out of frame, but give me a minute. Um, so this is just a burlap and lace, which if you watch any of my DIYs, I use quite frequently. I love burlap and lace. It's very my aesthetic. So this is what will be my travel altar for a um, altar cloth. So we're going to go over here in the middle. And this is a chalice that um, I've never actually used it as a chalice, but it is the perfect size to be in a travel altar. And I got it at Goodwill, I think for like a dollar or something. It was not expensive. I'm going to stick it right there. I have this incense holder, which you can use cones or stick incense. There is a hole in there for that. And you just stick it in just like that. Um, but I also love this as, because it's a nice representation of the goddess and it is not that big or that small. And then of course I have these little candle holders and there's a name for them, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head right now. And then I have a white candle, which I mean, you could use two white candles or two whatever, and then a black candle. And then of course I have my cauldron, which inside here I have a charcoal disc. So I can use that. Also, I could take it out if I needed to burn something else in my cauldron. So I'm just going to stick that right there on the end. And I'm going to move this forward just, okay, there we go. So you can see the whole thing. I'm going to put my cinnamon sticks up there because this would likely be my um, offering. And then I want to throw my gems and crystals up here. I know I have a piece of tiger's eye because I work with these frequently. These are my three favorites. Um, I want to put this on here. I think I'll stick this over here though and then put my besom right here and then this would be this bowl um, and then you can get these at the Dollar Tree as well. I think you get like four for a buck. These are the perfect size. I actually should have put two in the box, which will fit. So I'll end up doing that because I'd like to have a salt bowl up there. And then I need one for my herbal blends. So, and then um, bay leaves don't have to sit up there right now. And then I would typically use this um, for smudge or payload, whichever one I was using. Oops, look at me making a mess. <laughs> And then I love skulls, so I would just sit this right here. Um, there's that. And then I have this if I wanted this represented somewhere on the altar. But for now, I'm just going to sit it right here. Now, obviously the top of this box is not super huge, but it does hold everything I need. And I am very happy with the way this travel altar came out. And as I had said, I might get rid of the one that's in my truck window, which I will link the video so you guys can check that altar out and just carry this one with me. I love the way this came out. So I guess that's it, witches. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to be entered to win this um, 
to the box, then make sure you comment down below that you would like to be entered to win because I'm going to just give that away. I am so pleased with how my channel is going. I, I mean, yeah. Um, all right, which is I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have a travel altar, by all means, post a picture because I would love to see it. And we'll talk soon, which is... Thank you.